Hey there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. So you want to Photoshop something, but you don't have Photoshop. So here on the floor, I have the things that I'm going to use in a thumbnail for my previous video. If you want to check out the previous video, go there. Now, the next step to this is me taking a picture. Okay, so I've taken a couple of pictures and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import it into the program I'm going to use. P-I-X-L-R.com. That is where you want to go. Pixlr. Pixlr. I think you click on this and editor. So what I'm gonna do is create a new image, 1280 by 720. This, okay, enlarging that. And now what I'm gonna do is import my image. And here we have the image I'm gonna use. And as you can see down here, it is 4000 by 2667. Now what I'm gonna do is just select the area I'm gonna edit and then just copy that, close this image, and that brings me back to this 1280 by 720 project. And now what I'll do is I'll control and V. And then we go to edit and free transform, keep hold of shift and that keeps everything in proportion. And then I'll just drag it to the size that I want. One thing I forgot to mention is that this program doesn't accept raw files. So this is a JPEG. So now what I'll do is I'll go to adjustments and levels and sort out these levels. And as you can see, it's kind of blurry. So what I'll do is go to filter and sharpen. Do that again. Curves. Now I'm gonna to go to hue and saturation. And let's get this looking a little more colorful. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur this out, um, set the feather to about three, and then select this. And now what I'll do is add a blur. Um, box blur. Okay, so that's looking good enough. Now what I'll do is add some text. And by the way, this is the first time I'm doing this. Let's see how this is. Um, old. Let's make it a bit bigger. Um, 130. 130. Okay, and over here we'll have some question marks. One, two, three. Put that about there. Duplicate this one. And select it. Change the color of it to orange. Okay, okay. And, and now what I'll do is I'll just move this slightly so it shows a bit of the black and that should do. Okay, so what I'll do now is play around with the text to get them to pop a little bit more. And I might just get rid of the black font behind them. Okay, so that's the text done, more or less. Um, how about maybe a new layer and select this side. Brush tool, a larger brush, a larger brush. Is there any other way of increasing the brush size? Ah, 200, yeah, that'll do. Just do this, see what, see what we can do. And I wanna put this old above that layer. Uh, this one above the layer, put underneath that one. Now go back to that paint layer. There's a bit of weirdness going on here. Don't know why that's happening. Layer settings and make this a little more see-through. Now deselect all. Now I'll select the background layer, duplicate it. And then with this, what I'm gonna do is see if we can add some sort of an effect to it. Mimic HDR. So that's what that looks like and what I'll do now is go into the layer settings. So that's full. And what I'll do is I'll just bring it down to about, let's say about 45 with that layer selected. What I'll do is I'll select up to about there. Cut. And that'll get rid of the HDR on this side. In fact, what I could do is increase it on this side. I could just leave this here now and set this as my thumbnail for the previous video. Now what you do is save it to your computer and that's it. 
it's a bit of a Photoshop alternative. I haven't tried anything extreme with this. Extreme meaning like crazy amounts of photo manipulation. Um, but maybe I will in the future, or maybe I'll just stick to Photoshop. So this has been another video by moi, and I'll see you next time. Cocaine.